Okay, so I ordered a new oil galley plug kit and actually brass freeze plugs, core plugs as you, if you want to call them that, came with it. I won't be using those. This one, which goes in the back, I did not remove the old one. It didn't leak. It's in really good shape. It was recently, it was replaced last time the engine was put together. I'm not going to knock it out. These here I don't need the brass ones for the side because this one has screw-in freeze plugs which I installed a long time ago when I first put this engine together but what I wanted to get were these uh, oil galley plugs which of course came with the whole kit and that's the only reason I ordered the whole kit and uh, there's a few things you need to know about oil galley plugs on these engines uh, not just the 460 probably uh, the uh, small block forwards too and maybe the FE series like your three to 60s and 390s 427s 428s this one of course is a 385 series engine the 460 block is what it is 429 and 460 pretty much same block um, so here's what the new oil galley plug kit looks like these are the these are two of these screw into the back these two flat ones you can see these two are flat on the back and these two have a taper and I didn't know much about which one goes where I had to look it up I noticed something else I'm going to tell you later but um, now the two flat ones they go in the rear of the engine and all they do is you can see that is block off these two galleys so of course oil doesn't pour out of it and you'll lose oil pressure also when the engine's running now these two front ones with the taper these are what they're supposed to look like originally. And these two front ones with the taper go in these two holes. And really, it doesn't really look like it matters on some uh as soon as I found my flashlight here, which is in my pocket. Thought I had everything ready. Now in this one it doesn't really matter. You can screw it in pretty deep. There's no oil hole to block off or anything, but still, the one of the plugs with the taper goes into that hole. Now, on this side, you got to be careful. You've got to have one with a taper, and you don't want to screw it in too far. Matter of fact, I'm not going to bottom it out. I'm going to be using some thread locker on it. Also, I'm going to use it on the back just to seal it up also. But as you can see, there's an oil hole. right there in the bottom sorry about that there we go and that is why you want to use the uh, tapered galley plug because if you use a flat one they say if you screw it all the way in you can block it off but uh, I'm just going to screw this in flush and use lead top thread locker on it sorry about that and um, it should be fine but you don't want to screw these all the way in force them all the way in and block that oil hole off very important Okay, on the galley plug that goes in this hole, of course your distributor goes in here, which means your distributor gear would be riding right about here if the, if the distributor was in it. Now, one thing that the, now this one, this is the one that came out of the original one, and I'm not using my new ones, I'm using this one, and I'm going to show you why. So you can see, this has a little tiny hole drilled in it, I checked it, it's about 40 thousandths in diameter hole. Somebody drilled it with a tiny little drill bit, it looks like they, uh, knock the case harden off of the plug and um, looks like they also brazed it up but uh, it's been in there forever held up fine but the reason for that hole is it's a modification so you can get a little bit of a lube lubrication oil will squirt out onto that distributor gear and kind of important when you have a bronze distributor gear like I have so we're going to put that one back in the original one the rest of them will replace new and we're going to use our thread locker on it. I just use this stuff right here. You can see it. And, and of course, I got a dog hair stuck to everything here. It's finally gotten warm in my dog shitty. Use some of this stuff. It makes a good thread sealer, and it will be very hard to get out. Now, I don't want to get too sloppy with it. Actually, I'm going to let this 
I'm not going to do anything else to this engine tonight after I put this stuff on here. So I can do this without dropping it. And I'm just going to screw that in there until it starts to get a little tight. And I'm going to snug it down until it's flush with the surface. Paper plug for us, a little bit more Loctite or thread locker. And I'm just going to screw that one in flush with the block. It's not as tight as I would like it to be, but I don't want to screw it in too far and block that oil hole off. So I'm pretty sure we'll be fine once that thread locker sets up. some kind of sealer or in this case we're using thread locker. I may regret that if I ever have to take them out again, but I don't I'd rather them not come out. I'd rather have to draw them out later than have them come out on me. I also need something. Keep my engine from spending on take a quarter inch hex head wrench and they go into this little hump in the middle of the lifter valley right here. Notice I didn't put any thread sealer on them because they will they will bottom out, lock down, get them good and tight. They're not going anywhere. And even if they did seep a little bit, it wouldn't be enough to be any noticeable oil pressure and it's just going to be in the lifter valley which is full of oil anyway so I'm not even going to bother to um, put any sealer on these you can see you can get them they bottom out tighten down they're not going anywhere All right, 
it. That's that. 